Hey everybody, Tom here for Beyond Walt Disney Planet. I am in Michigan, visiting Michigan's Adventure Theme Park. This park is located in Muskega, Michigan, right along uh, Lake Michigan. Sort of a uh, overcast, drizzly day for about the next half hour. It's supposed to drizzle out than that. It's supposed to be uh, relatively nice. Not a whole lot of people here today which gave me the opportunity to ride all seven roller coasters with no line. A couple times I was the only one on the actual roller coaster train itself. So the park has seven total roller coasters, three wooden coasters, one kitty coaster, and one wild mouse coaster, which is a traditional wild mouse that you see everywhere. And they also have one uh, other coaster that's really really decent and then there's a corkscrew coaster so they were all pretty decent even I even rode the kitty ride roller coaster just to say I rode it so we're gonna take a look around the park uh, it is a uh, on the smaller side park but there's a lot here there's an included water park and the water park is open today I may partake in that a little bit later so right as you come in the gate you got guest relations and a place where you get fast lane. Fast lane, of course, is not needed today, but you get strollers and wagons. And you also get your sports bottle, which I got earlier. Michigan's Adventure is a Cedar Fair park. So they have usually Camp Snoopy. They do not have Camp Snoopy at this location, but they do have a Snoopy boutique with all things peanuts related. Go around to the right, you got photo memories. Where you get your photo pass. A lot of the rides uh, take your photo, uh, primarily the roller coasters. Right after that, they got coasters driving. This is an old 50s style themed hamburger shop. I had my lunch here. All right, so this is a map of Michigan's Adventure. This is my paper map. So entrance is right here. Right here. I'm right here at Camp Snoopy. So we're going to start on the left hand side and check out the summer rides over here. Here is the water park portion. They do have a train ride that takes you around a portion of the park. I'm going to plan on riding that. So let's go check this place out. Alright so heading to the left from coasters we're on the other side of uh, the Snoopy Boutique. Get ahead this way. We have kitty coasters over here and some uh, child sized rides. We'll come back to in a moment. First, you're gonna head towards these restrooms and then head to the left. All right, first up we come to Speed Splashers. This is a child sized ride. See there on the water and the boats. And it goes around in a circle. So you got the nice lighthouse here to go with the theming. All right, this is the Big Dipper. This is a kid coaster. I still had fun on it though. It's a good beginner coaster for the little ones. All right, this ride is aptly named Motorcycles. Right around, you go up the ramps, down the ramps, just spin around. And this ride is called Kitty Cars. Two different ride, ride vehicles, and you spin around. All right, Zach Zoomer. This is one of the first wood coasters you've come to. This is a compact wood coaster, but it was still actually really fun. Directly to the left of Zach Zoomers, you got Mini Enterprise, which is helicopters or spaceships. All right, Bebop Boulevard. And directly in front of Zach Zoomers, you got Bebop Boulevard. They ride old timey vehicles around the track. All right, so it just rained not that long ago. Uh, sky cleared up. I have my umbrella with me just in case it starts to sprinkle again while I have my camera out. So some of the rides are not operating yet until uh, they get the all clear from the rain. Alright, corkscrew. 
Our Sakura Screw is located directly to the right of Bebop Boulevard. This is a compact coaster. They got like, quite a few inversions. See more of the track. Left hill. Alright, so following the path to the left of the corkscrew, we come to the carousel. The traditional carousel with horses. You have a couple other types of animals on here. Right across from the carousel, you got Midway Munchies. Directly to the right of the carousel, you got Drummer Boy. And directly next to Drummer Boy, you got Winky the Whale. Getting a lot of these rides back up and running after the drizzle. Directly next to that is the got Boardwalk Buffet, which is not yet open. Got a nice little mini lake. See some of the other coasters. And then the water park. Directly to the right of the entrance for Boardwalk Buffet, they have a little arcade. And just to the right of the arcade, they have the first aid. All right, past the first aid, you got the water park. All right, it's the entrance to Wild Water Adventures. Water park is included with admission. Just look for Wild Water Adventures Outfitters, where you get all the stuff you would need for the water park. See some of the other water slides they have. All right, following the path around, you got Ripcord. This is a giant swing. I've shown this in other parks. This is an upcharge, meaning additional fee if you choose to do this. Prices for a ripcord. A few brave people going on ripcord. Lift you all the way up to the tower in the back, and then you swing back and forth. Come on. So swing it back and forth. Directly to the left of Ripcord, we got Mary Lynn's Catering Pavilion. If you have a large group, birthday party, corporate event, you can hold it here. You have swan boats you can get. Go out on the lake. Continuing on the path to the right, you got Thunderhawk. Now Thunderhawk is the largest of the steel coasters they have at Michigan's Adventure. I was all by myself on this this morning. Very cool ride. Another view of the track. So there's not a whole lot of people here today. That's the reason why it looks like now the rides are running, but they are. So there's no one on at the ride at the moment. And this view of the cars. Again, no riders at the moment, so that's why they're not moving. All right, directly across from Thunderhawk, you got Adventure Falls. All right, so Adventure Falls is not yet open. Should be open by Monday. Basically a giant splashdown. A lot of people stand on this bridge to get completely soaked. All right, right next to Thunderhawk, we got Grand Rapids. There's a Wild Rapids ride. Chances of getting wet are very, very good. So I'm gonna wait till I have my bathing suit on to go on this. See lots of rapids. See one of the ride vehicles coming by. Visible people look like they're having fun. The loading platform and unloading. Same area. Alright, so following the path down from Grand Rapids, you come to Grand Rapids Junction for the Timbertown Railway. Alright, you see the train coming around. Gonna take a ride around on this. Hello! And the train! Alright, going for a ride on the train. Hi! <laughs> Thunderhawk. Thunderhawk is a fairly new addition to this park. It takes riders up to 
up 105 feet and drops it back down at speeds of 50 miles per hour. Also to your right is Wolverine Wildcat. Wolverine Wildcat is the original roller coaster of this park and was added before the park named Cedar Fair. That roller coaster has been there since this place has been called Deer Park. The nice view of the woods, the waterway. is also a great way to get from the back of the park to the front. A tunnel coming up. So I got off at Timbertown Railway, took a shortcut to the front. All right, got Wolverine Wildcat to the left of the train station, and Shivering Timbers to the right. All right, so in front of the train station to the left, come the Wildcat Grill, and then you got Wolverine Wildcat. So Wolverine Wildcat was a nice wood coaster. They also have some brand new track here. Looks like they did some update renovations to the park, which is always a good sign. But this is a nice smooth ride. All right, across from Wolverine Wildcat, you see these train sheep. Who's here? They also have antique photos. And another little mini gift shop. Found this path to the left, you'll see Shivering Timbers. This is the largest wooden coaster in the park. It's a terrain coaster, which just means uh, you go really far out in the terrain and you come right back. Lots of ups and downs, you get some good air time. You see the lift hill. I'll get additional footage 
from the parking lot later. This was a fantastic coaster. Best one in the park. My opinion anyway. All right, following the path to the right, coming to the Scrambler. You've seen these all over the place, lots of different parks. Right next to Scrambler, you got the Thunderbolt. This type of ride that you will see at many fairs and carnivals. Also some of the smaller theme parks. Typically it was forwards and backwards. Very fast. And the momentum uh, spins you out a little bit. It's a fun ride. Good way to get dizzy. And directly next to the Thunderbolt to the right, you got Wagon Pizza. Got whole pizzas or pizzas by the slice. And directly across the front, a Wagon Pizza, you got the Tilt-A-Whirl. Again, it's a typical ride you would find at fairs and carnivals and smaller theme parks. And directly next to the Tilt-A-Whirl, you got the Tramont. This looks fun. Directly across the you got the flying trapeze. This is swings. This is fun, a nice breezy day. It's a great ride. Nice and refreshing. Good view of the log flume from this direction. Alright, continue down the path, you got Funland Farm. You got some Anglo Nubian goats. Come here and pet the goats and sheep. You got more goats you can pet on the other side. And some lambs. Baby lambs too. You feed the animals for two dollars, you get a little food cup. Alright, alpacas. A couple alpacas. You pet these guys and feed them. What's up? Some bunny rabbits. You also got bunny rabbits you can pet and feed. You don't feed these guys green. Some bunny rabbits. Oh, we got some geese. Wow, these birds are big. Wonder which one of these three lays the golden egg. Wow. We got some llamas. These guys resemble alpacas, but a little bit bigger. There's a llama eating some grass or some straw. What's up? How you doing? We got American miniature horses. The miniature horse. Hi. I see you. Oh, don't do that. That's what I was doing. You must have a, you know, a sore throat, you know, because he's a little horse. Haha. <laughs> this is cool. Got miniature Zebu steers. What's up, Cowies? All right, miniature donkeys. Hey, what you doing? Oh, boy. Kind of fuzzy too. And they got silky chickens. Go uh, feathery and fuzzy looking they are. Wow. This one looks like a a baby. Now, after petting the animals, they do have a hand washing station. Highly recommend you wash your hands. That's what I'm going to do so right now. All right, so following the path to the right from Funland Farm, come up to Mad Mouse. All right, this is a typical wild mouse roller coaster called Mad Mouse. Right in front of Mad Mouse, they got the Frog Hopper. It's a kid-sized drop tower. All right, right at the exit from Mad Mouse, Got the restrooms, small gift shop, got his ices and several games of chance. And actually we'll come up to the giant gondola. Ferris wheel. 
You can actually see airplanes. And directly next to airplanes, you got elephants. Essentially the exact same ride, just different ride vehicles. So as you see where we are, there's coasters and the corkscrew roller coaster. You're gonna follow the path to the right. Next up, you got lakeside gliders. It just spins around, you control the pitch at a, or the height of this by turning the little wing. I guess you would call it a wing. The spins around. Right across on lakeside gliders, you got Dodge em bumper cars. See, bumper cars are all looking like police cars or taxis. All right, bumper boats. Following the path to the left, from Dodge and Bumper Cars, you come to Bumper Boats. Basically, a bumper boat has a outboard motor in the center. And right next to the bumper boats, you got the Sea Dragon. It's a pirate ship type ride. Goes back and forth. Typically, the theming changes. The ride vehicles look completely different on each ride. Next, we come to Loggers Run. So, if you follow the path that I did, we finally come back to Wolverine Wildcat, and that completes the whole tour of the park. All right, so that is the walking tour of the park that is known as Michigan's Adventure. They got a nice assortment of rides, seven roller coasters, several water rides, an included water park, which I'm gonna go to right now because the sun is out, sky is clear, so I'm gonna go enjoy the water. All right, you're gonna go check out the Snoopy Boutique, see what they have inside. See Snoopy here is the camp counselor. Most Cedar Fair properties have a Camp Snoopy. This park does not. So this is basically the mascot for that area. All right, first up we're gonna do Peppermint Patty's Candy Shop. Of course, they got all sorts of cotton candy. Got bag candies in combos and even some Chex Mix. They also have all sorts of candies that you would find in a convenience store. Lots of selection. All right, so they got pucker powder crunchy candy bits, assorted colors, and I'm saying some flavors. They got all sorts of bulk candies, two ninety nine per quarter pound. All sorts of different kinds, wrap candies, bunch of others. Lots of gummies. I see Mike and Ike's. Yeah, man. Got more combos and different flavors. And Jelly Belly. Gourmet jelly beans. Additional bag candies and more combos and Chex Mix. And we got big lollipops and smaller lollipops and long lollipops. We're right, gonna go check out the Peanuts gift shop now. Oh yeah, the gang's all here. Grew up with Charlie Brown and the Peanuts gang and the comics and all the different TV specials throughout the year. They got everything Peanuts themed in here. Got lots of Snoopy stuff. Got all Charlie Brown and Snoopy shirts. And they got Snoopy plush, various different outfits, and you got Peanuts building blocks, you got Snoopy Michigan's Adventure themed shirts, and Snoopy Michigan's Adventure themed sweatshirts, so it's a good size gift shop. Got the familiar Charlie Brown zigzag design. 
we got tie-dye Snoopy and we got Snoopy and Charlie Brown zigzag bags this is a Red Baron airplane Snoopy's always dreaming that he's going after the Red Baron 1956 and Muskegon it's one this theme park opened it was not named Michigan's Adventure at the time this is cool got the wall art with the Peanuts characters camping you see Camp Snoopy they got all sorts of knickknacks and Michigan's Adventure nameplates and stationery or Peanuts Michigan's Adventure themed shirts you got playing cards, some more hats you got Michigan's Adventure themed items you got Snoopy themed beach towels they come in handy at the water park you got tie-dye looking shirts both long sleeve and short sleeve Imagine design hats. Get yourself your very own Charlie Brown shirt. Got this nice Cloud of Michigan Adventure 1956 Muskegon sweatshirt. Got some children's themed shirts. And a Peanuts Michigan Adventure license plate frame. Got another tote bag. And hats. More Snoopy. Different sizes. Oh, it's got Snoopy's girlfriend Belle. It's a very nice kid shirt. It's also got the Peanuts characters plush form. Got the whole gang. It's got keychains and figurines. Got Woodstock and a fuzzy version of Snoopy. All Charlie Brown zigzag designed merchandise. Or the Peanuts plush, additional keychains, and additional size Snoopies. Let's get a Snoopy with Woodstock. Got kid size printed shirts. We also got uh, toddler sizes. They got Snoopy sleeping on a pillow. And you got infant shirts, little onesies. And some hats. And they're various size Snoopy. Plush characters. You got Snoopy and Woodstock hats. And you got kid size sweatshirts. More infant onesies and bibs. Now this is something I've never seen before. The Snoopy hot dog toaster. Toast the hot dogs and the buns. Get yourself a Snoopy hugs mug. Or a Snoopy coin bank. Or a drink cup. Lots of other shirt designs. Lots of other drink cup with straw. All the Peanuts characters. Additional mugs. And we got lots of different keychains. Patriotic Snoopy headbands. They also carry umbrellas, ponchos. So I got a bin full of footballs because you got to supply the air. Also got Snoopy pucker powder candy art. Various different types of colors. 
flavors. Pricing, depending on what size tube you get. For 10 bucks, you can get one of these mega tubes. That's a whole lot of sugar you have in that. Got more of the peanuts building blocks. You got this giant Snoopy plush. I don't think he's for sale because he looks a little bit dirty. That's how they have a photo fun strips photo booth. Pick the different designs you want. Get inside the booth and smile. Also, right at the front of the park, you got a confection connection. And around the back of that, they got corner store. This is all Michigan Adventure themed stuff. Got sweatshirts, all different colors and sizes. Lots of other shirts. Even sleeveless. Got shorts. This is where I came and got my hat this morning. Got kid size shirts and sweatshirts. Also toddler sizes. Additional hats. Nice novelty hat. You can wear a hot dog, a pizza, or a hamburger on your head. Those have straw hats. Got sequin pillows. Another character hats. You got a sequin top hat. You got Michigan Adventure themed sweatshirt blankets. Got glassware and mugs. And we got Michigan Adventure Tie Dye Fiesta Bears. We also have a selection of candy here, including cotton candy. And they got Thai Beanie Baby Animals. And other stuffed animals. They also have penny press machines all throughout the park. 51 cents. You choose the different designs. All right, so that was Michigan's Adventure. The park is located in Muskegon, Michigan. West side of Michigan, right near Lake Michigan. So it started out as a very overcast day. We had a little bit of rain but now it's bright and sunny. Not a whole lot of people here. Probably under, uh, I'd say probably under 300 people total. So I was able to go on all the rides, including some of the water rides. One of them wasn't running, but the other two, the water rapids and a log flume, I did go on that. All seven roller coasters, one on that first thing, zero lines for any of them. So that gave me the opportunity to enjoy the park. I had my lunch and did my tour video showing you every aspect of what you can expect if you come to Michigan's Adventure. Not a huge theme park, but they do pack a lot in here for its size. Water park is really, really nice. Water was very cold because it's only the, the second day in operation. I think it's the first day the water park was open. So it's nice fresh water very chlorine taste to it so I had to get something to drink right after but that is normal for a brand new season of a water park water will eventually warm up throughout the season right now it was just very cold still had a great time hope you guys enjoyed it like and subscribe if you've already done so I'm trying to gain subscribers help me out people subscribe to my channel Leave a comment if you enjoyed what you saw, give me a thumbs up. That shows me that you enjoyed my video. So, I'll see everybody next time. Thanks for watching, bye. All right, so from the parking lot side, you get a really good view of this terrain coaster.